I am here in France, a few kilometers south of Rouen, in the Schneider Electric Factory in Vaudreuil. It is in these workshops that the TASIS B contactors are assembled. I have an appointment with Francois Sauthier, who is the specialist, but before I have to wear this. Francois, this is a TASIS B contactor. Would you explain to us how it is constituted? These contactors, which are called bar-mounted contactors, have as their construction base the bar on which all the elements will be assembled. This one is a three-pole, so we come to assemble the three poles and the electromagnet on the left side. The electromagnet is composed of the fixed part, the moving part, and its coil. When the coil is powered, the moving part will rotate the shaft, which will put the moving contact in contact with the fixed contact of each pole. We will also find on this contactor auxiliary contacts, which will allow to control other devices. So, Francois, I see that these contactors are quite open technology. What are the benefits? The advantages of this open technology allow the release of the pressure generated by the electric arc in the arc chambers, and it also allows easy disassembly of the contact sets because a contactor like this can last up to 50 years, and you may need to change the contacts during the life of the contactor several times. Okay, well, Francois, thank you for these explanations. Now to the assembly shop. Two areas of the plant are affected by TASIS B contactors. The laboratory, where the contact pellets are manufactured by sintering metal powder. We do not have access to them and the workshop where the contactors are assembled. Here the contact pressure is precisely adjusted to ensure the closing power. Their positioning is also adjusted to allow synchronization of movements. The closing of the NO and NC poles can even be delayed by a few milliseconds for special applications. The metal pellets were brazed to the contact points. They give a long life to the contactor. Here, the contactors are packed. We couldn't find anything better than polyurethane foam. With this process, customers have the best chance to receive their product in good condition. The TASIS B range is composed of CV1, CV3, and custom-made contactors. CV1s cover current needs, CV3 very high power applications. The contacts can be NO, NC, or NO plus NC. They can have from one to four poles or even more for custom contactors. CV1 ratings range from 80 to 1000 amperes up to 220 volts DC or 690 volts AC. The CV3 range from 80 to 2750 amperes up to 440 volts DC or 1000 volts AC. Custom contactors are manufactured to withstand exceptional currents and voltages. Some were built to pass currents of 16,300 amperes in induction furnaces. To find all the information about TASIS B, the easiest way is to search for TASIS B on the SchneiderElectric.com website. Remember, TASIS B contactors are really tough. Thank you for listening, and see you soon.